going on guys welcome back again to my channel so today I'm very excited to share this custom team that I made from Carweb Guru Launcher it looks very sporty and I hope you will like it so if you guys have the pro version you can download and use this team for free so I made three versions of this team just for you guys you can select the team you want the most or you can use all of them for free on the third version I added list of apps on the side and you can change that if you want to and then on uh, version 1, uh, this one right here, I added a digital speedometer on the side. So if you guys want to get this, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Okay, so welcome back guys. This is the third version of the team. So I made this team to look sporty. And I added some functions that I think that is very useful, like this weather widget on top. I also added date and time. And this one here is your skip backwards and forward for your music. I actually put those two buttons right there to make them look like a turn signal. But it has a function, which I mentioned a while ago, which is to skip backward or forward your music. And this button right here is to increase or decrease your volume. And the middle one is to play or pause your music. And on the left part of the screen, I added list of apps. But you can also change this list to any apps that you want. So I have added uh, system settings and my radio app right here. But I'm going to close that one for now. I'm going to tap this uh, play button right here to play some music. I also added a parking time right here. And beside that function is your total trip, which will show you how many kilometers you traveled. And this one right here is your turn-by-turn -turn navigation. So in the middle, we got a multi-widget. I put the gauge there by default. You got your analog and digital speedometer. And at the bottom left part of your screen, you got your music information and a music visualizer. So all the buttons and widgets that you see right here are all changeable. You can also tap the center widget right here if you want to change it to analog clock, vehicle logo, music album art, you also got compass widget, and your turn by turn navigation. Okay now so let's go to the first version that I made. I'm just gonna show you very quick. So as you can see on the screen, you have your digital speedometer. I put the vehicle logo in the center by default. We also have the turn-by-turn -turn navigation on the right side of the screen. I like the placement of the digital speedometer on the left side and I'm gonna show you later how it works. So for the second version, we have the vehicle logo on the left side of the screen. Now if you want to change your vehicle brand or your logo, just tap on it, go to options and tap vehicle. Now change the manufacturer by tapping it. Now select the manufacturer or the brand of your vehicle. Let's say your vehicle brand is Honda. So just tap on this one. Now go back to your home screen. So as you can see, the logo is now changed. So now I'm gonna put it back to Nissan, which is my vehicle brand. So we will do the same thing. Okay, so it's now back to Nissan logo. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how this team will work when you are driving. So as you can see here, I didn't drive for about 6 minutes. But when you start driving, the green color on the parking time will turn off. Now while driving, your digital speedometer will work. Also, if you made an active route on your Google Maps, the turn-by-turn -turn navigation will show on your screen. And if you guys playing music, the album art will show up, the title of the song and the artist, and the music visualizer at the bottom. Now when you stop your vehicle, the parking timer will start counting and it will turn to green color. And this widget will show you the total kilometers that you traveled. So now the vehicle is running, so as you can see, the kilometers are moving up. 
Okay, now let's check quickly the second version of the team. Okay, so this is the version 2. So the moment you start driving, the analog and digital speedometer will start moving. Also, the small circle right here will start counting how many kilometers you traveled. Okay, for version 3, the only difference here is the list of apps that I added on the left part of the screen. All these three versions have turn-by-turn -turn navigation which will show your direction when you drive. In 150 meters, turn right onto Main Street Route 52 North. You will also hear a guide or directions from Google Maps application. Take the next right onto Main Street Route 52 North. Okay, on the next part of this video, I'm going to show you how to download and use the theme on your Car Web Guru Launcher Pro version. Okay, first thing you're going to do is go to your app drawer. Go to your internet browser and copy the link on my description below. Then paste it to the address bar. Then tap go or enter. So as you can see here on the screen, we have five files that needs to be downloaded. So here's the background image, the grid background for the navigation widget, and the three custom themes. Now let's go ahead and download these files. Tap this icon right here to download. Now let's go back to download the other uh, files. This one is the grid background for our turn-by-turn -turn navigation. So there's three more files left. Now let's tap download. Just go ahead, just tap this download anyway. Now let's tap and download this second version. Now let's go back and download the last one. So we're almost done downloading all the files. Okay, so five files have been downloaded. So let's go back to our home screen. Open the app drawer again and look for file manager. You can use ES file explorer or file manager. Now let's go ahead and go to download folder. Okay, this one. Now look for the files that we have downloaded. Now move or cut this file and paste to picture folder. Just tap this paste button. Now let's go back to download folder and move some of the files. Okay, so let's check the three themes. The version 1, version 2, and version 3. Now tap the cut button and go to car web guru folder and paste it under export folder now we still have one more file that needs to be moved let's go back to download folder and look for grid.png okay so let's check on this one tap cut and go to car web guru folder And let's paste that file under constructor folder. Now we have moved all the files. Let's go back to the home screen. Okay, now we're going to load the teams. Just wipe your finger up and tap add new window. Now long tap the window that we have added and tap import from file. 
Now let's look for the custom team, which is called the Sports Dashboard Version 1. Okay, so just swipe your finger up and tap this one right here. So this is the version 1 without the background. So let's go ahead and add the background. And now it's fully loaded. You can now use this team. Now let's load the version 2 of the team. Okay, so tap import from file. And let's look for the second version, which is the sports dashboard version 2. Now swipe your finger up and tap this one right here. Now let's add the background. Okay, now the version 2 is now fully loaded. Okay, now let's load the third version or the version 3. So same process. Let's add the background. So there you go. Three versions are now fully loaded on my Android head unit. If you guys like this team, please give this video a big thumbs up and share this video to your Facebook or to your friends. And I will really appreciate it if you do. And if you guys have questions, please leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Bye for now guys. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again on my next video.